up guys i'm johnny phantom and i'm here to talk about all things phantom if you're new here and you love phantoms make sure you hit that button hit that subscribe button because that's all i talk about today we are talking about one of the greatest newest hottest tcgs of all time and that is lord kana i am a huge fan of everything tcg you know Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, I played them all. But now, Disney came out with their own TCG. And I love Disney. So when I saw Disney was coming out with TCG, I'm like, I gotta play I don't care what it is about. I gotta play. And so did everybody else. Because the marketplace for these things right now is insane. People are buying it up like crazy. You can't even go to a store and find it. Target, Barnes & Noble, Walmart all sell it. But you can't buy it because people go in there, scalpers pick it up, and destroy the market the only place you can get the cards are at like your local card shops but they're gonna jack the price up and charge you like $24 for a booster pack which is supposed to be $6 for the booster pack and then those same stores are gonna charge you $60 for a structured deck which should only be $17 However, I was lucky enough to get the cards and start playing the game. And let me tell you, it is a fun game. However, just playing the game and you know, stuff, I was like, you know, this is cool. You know, it's a Disney TCG game. But then you start to like look at the cards and think about the way the game is played. And you wonder... Why is it called called Lorcana? What is the backstory of this game? And that's what we're gonna get into today. So the game is very simple. You have a sixty card deck. You have your character cards, just like every other TCG. You have your uh, item cards, and then you have your action cards. And action cards help you progress in the game, and the items usually, like, you know, will help your characters boost their attack, things like that. So, one item card that we have is the Dingo Hopper. And then, some characters that we have, you know, you have like Tinkerbell, obviously. Gaston. And. Robin Hood and Stitch. Now, there's a ton of other cards, and these are just some extra cards I have. I do have two full decks. So the game is very simple. You have these things called wars. And in order to win the game, you have to get 20 wars. So first person to 20 wars wins. And the characters can either challenge or go on quests. If they go on a quest, you get the war points. If they challenge, basically you are attacking another character on your opponent's side of the field. So if you look at this stitch, you can see he has 
the two war counters down there. Moana has three. Mickey Mouse Wayward Sorcerer has two. And also the characters you can see have like other abilities kind of help them. Uh, like Mickey, um, you pay one ink, which I'll get to in a second, to play a boom character. So basically, uh, one last to play the boom characters, which magic boom. So it cost three. Uh, sorry, it cost two. So if I have Mickey in play, he cost one instead of two. The cost is the number right there. And it's just a bunch of different things to kind of help you win the game a little better. So, you have what's called ink. And you have your ink well. Some cards have that symbol around the number. That card can be inked. So basically, you put that card face down into... Um, if you play Magic the Gathering, like your mana pool. These are the cards that allow you to play other cards. So basically you're sacrificing this card into your ink well to create ink. And, order, and the number of inks you have depends on what cards you play. So if you have four ink cards in your ink well, you can then basically tap them and play Mickey. But if the card does not have that symbol around a number, it cannot be turned into ink. So playing the game, I'm sitting there like, okay, it's a fun game, I enjoy it. Uh, I went to a tournament, played a few games, won my first match ever. It was awesome. First match I ever played, I won, which is kind of cool. Um, and then, because I went to the tournament, I got this cool special polo card. So, when you play the game, it's a lot of fun, you know, it's Disney, so like, duh, it's gonna be cool, but you start to notice, you know, you have to use ink, and when you play a character, that character's ink has to dry, um, so, for TCG terms, uh, like Magic the Gathering, uh, Whenever you play a card, a character, or a monster card, or a creature card, you can't attack the turn it came out unless it has a special ability that says otherwise. Uh, like Magic Gathering, this was called Haste. If you had if the card had Haste, you could attack as soon as it came out. Normally, you put the card down, you have to wait a turn before it can do anything. With Wakana, it's called letting the ink dry. So you have to let the character's ink dry for an entire turn before it can go on a quest, do a challenge, or basically do anything of its abilities. Okay, so like, there are, is it, uh, there is an ability in this game that allows the character's ink to basically be dried as soon as you play it, and that is called Rush. So this is Rafiki, as soon as you play him, he can go on a quest or challenge another character. So you think to yourself, this world of like 
Disney characters. They need ink to basically survive. Like, is it like drawn and it, it, you know? And then you have these characters like Mickey in the Sorcerer outfit, which is not the typical Sorcerer outfit that he's usually in. And then you have, and then you have this Captain Hook, which if you look at his hook, it's not really a hook; it's like a sword. So you think to yourself, what is going on here? And then you are close at the cards, and there are three type of character cards. There is Storyborn. Let's see if I can get a close look on that. It says Storyborn. Then you have. Captain Hook, which is Dreamborn. And then we have Floodborn. So you're wondering, Storyborn, Dreamborn, Funborn, what is this? So I went and discovered what the story of Wakana is. Before we move any further though, I need to wake up. And in order to do that, I'm going to have my favorite energy drink. Ways Energy Drink brought to you by Rep Sports. That's R E P P Sports dot com. Make sure you use coupon code Johnny Huey. You save yourself 15% off. They also have a ton of great other products, a ton of dietary supplements. You can even get workout snacks, breakfast, shakes, to-go powders, everything. My favorite thing, obviously, is energy drinks. I get these all the time. This is all I drink for energy drinks. Unfortunately, I don't like coffee, so this is my morning can of coffee. So go to repsports.com, that's R-E-P-P sports.com. Use coupon code Johnny Huey, save yourself 15% off your order. Okay, so storyboard characters are essentially unaltered, untouched, straight from their movies or films, um, or cartoons, whatever they are. So, the story burn, story born Robin Hood is the Robin Hood that we all know and love. So, these are the characters that emerge straight from the movies, and they are entirely identical to their Disney counterpart. And then we go to Dreamborn. Dreamborn characters... Unlike storyboard characters that have been altered in some way by a summoning process, so they are not entirely identical to the original characters. The changes may be minor, may play upon already established facets of the character to their stories, but the way they somehow are transformed in, in a way that the storyboard characters are not. One thing for certain with the Dreamborn is it has a way to be creative and unique. Such as Captain Hook having a sword for a hand instead of a hook. It's one little twist that doesn't change the character entirely. But it's one unique thing that changes. Now, remember the word summoning. By a summoning process, this changes into Dreamborn. Now we have Floodborn characters. Floodborn characters are reimagined their characters whose stories seem to have turned out very differently to the tales we are familiar with. So this is a complete swap. So basically like the Aladdin card, if you look at Aladdin, 
He's got this big sword and big cloak. Almost like he really went the full thief route instead of becoming the Prince of Agrabah and Mary Jasmine or something. Uh, there's a Fudborn Tinkerbell where she is ginormous. So things like that, like, like Little Fairy is now constantly like a giant. And you see her picking up Captain Hook's ship in her hand. Uh, and then the Fudborn characters have this special ability called Shift, which allows you to basically shift them into a another uh, character of their same type. So a Tinkerbell can shift, a Fudborn Tinkerbell can shift into a even stronger Tinkerbell or a Dr. Facilier Fudborn can shift into an even stronger Dr. Facilier and things like that. So you look at it like this ink is creating you know, obviously the characters we all love, slightly altered characters, and then completely altered characters. In ink, they are being summoned. What is going on here? It makes you wonder, and I didn't think about this when I'm playing the game. I'm like, I just want to play the game. I just want to play a TCG with Disney, like... It's a dream come true that's been coming out for a while. So you wonder, what is the story here? What is Dreamborn? What is Floodborn? What is Storyborn? Why are these characters being summoned into this inky abyss? Well, let's find out. The story behind Lorcana is that you, the player, is a great illuminary. What is an illuminary? From Collins Dictionary, a luminary is an expert in a particular subject or activity. So you are an expert in Disney. Obviously. So you are a great illuminary within a magical realm called Lorcana. So Lorcana is this alternate dimension realm that you reside in. And you are a master of Disney. You are surrounded by story stars that each contain a fragment of a Disney story. You must use an ink caster to combine with these fragments to cast an image of a Disney character known as a glimmer. You must search your missing lore to protect your realm against threats. So basically, the Wakanda realm is under threat and you are the only one who can save it. So you must use your ink caster to use his ink powers to collect ink from these story stars. And when you cast the ink down into your ink pool in order to basically create glimmer images of these Disney characters to fight against the evil threats and gain war to save the realm. So when you create this ink pool, in order to create characters. Obviously, say things can happen. You have the original characters, you have the Dreamborn characters, slightly altered, and then you have the Funborn, which is obviously completely altered. Most of the time, the Funborn characters are going to be your stronger characters because they are completely altered in a different way. So, 
using magic to collect the ink from these stars in order to cast the glimmers, I could see how things may be altered because magic tends to do some things sometimes. So things may not be as perfect as they are. This is a very interesting concept and it's very cool. And now that I know the story, when I play the game, I'm going to immerse myself in the world of imagination and I'm going to become that ink caster, collect the ink from the story stars. Like, just the fact that there's a whole backstory to this game makes it even better. I mean, yes, we have backstories to other TCGs. You know, obviously, Yu Gi Oh! was is a card game they play in the show Yu-Gi-Oh! So therefore the game Yu-Gi-Oh! is the card game that you would play in the show. Pokemon, obviously, is Pokemon. You know, Ash goes on adventures, has six Pokemon, and he battles other trainers and gym leaders, and essentially you have your deck of Pokemon cards and you just battle other people with Pokemon. Magic the Gathering, from what I, I mean, I've been playing Magic the Gathering since like 1997. I don't know if there's a backstory to Magic the Gathering. I never really looked into it, just because it was just a game we played. I just started playing it, and just collected cards and played it, and had my monster cards and decks and all stuff. So I never really thought about a backstory. But the fact that this has a full-on backstory about being this alternate realm with this ink and this cast and they have all these names for the story stars the glimmers it's just it's great it is a fantastic game so if you haven't gotten a chance definitely go to the store and play it if you ever see me around at a store I'll be happy to play with you if you don't have any cards I have two decks I'll definitely only one and teach you how to play if you'd like. Also, if you do play and do have cards, comment down below, let me know. And this November, we have the next chapter come out. So the first set is called Chapter 1. We have the next set come out called The Rise of Floodborne. So I'm very excited for a new set, new cards to come out. Definitely going to play the game. Hopefully when that new set comes out though, the game is a little more available. So comment down below what you think of this game. Have you played this game? Do you know about this game? If you haven't and you're a Disney fan, definitely go check it out. It is fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Go make sure you check out the video down below. Go check out my merch store where you can get awesome shirts like this. Link in the description down below. Also, go check out my Spotify. Right now, I only have two uh, podcasts on there. It's been a while. I haven't really got a chance to record them, but there's one podcast on there that you can't get on YouTube. Everything on the podcast I'm doing is strictly for the podcast. Also, make sure you hit that join button because if you hit that join button right here on YouTube, you get exclusive content just for you. There's videos that only you can see. Stop doing that. Videos that only you can see. If you go to my Patreon page, same thing. There's videos on there that you can only get on Patreon. You also get free merch from me. And it really helps. All the support that you can give me helps so I can keep creating content for you. Before I go, don't forget, I have this. Sorry it took so long, but I will be announcing the giveaway winner on Saturday. So, last minute check-ins. Go check out the video for the giveaway and enter in the giveaway. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. See you guys next time.